Hi, Stefan Svartlinger from Svartling Network. I would like to show you one of the apps and features I miss from iOS and iPhone and iPad. If we start drafts, one really cool app on the iPhone, but that is actually not what I will show you today. What I will show you today is how good Text Expander Touch is for iOS. Text Expander Touch is one of the features, apps, services I miss on Android and uh, this service alone makes iOS unbeatable when it comes to productive and creative use for example for writing and blogging so if I type testing text expander in drafts for the iPhone. Then I want to um, add a link to the iPhone word in uh, Markdown. So if I click on that word like that, I can type a text expander shortcut that I have made for adding a link from my website, a link to the category iPhone on my website. So I can type dot tag. And then Text Expander Touch opens, and as you can see, you have the link visible already. But I want to add some more meta in this link, so I will have uh, the name here for the link too. So I add the word iPhone, and as you can see, uh, the word iPhone is the word I link to, but it also add the iPhone for the Alt tag. So now I can also click in this field to type in the actual name of the tag I want to link to. And in this case is uh, the word iPhone with small characters. So I can uh, actually choose to link to a different tag than the word I link to, if you know what I mean. And when I'm finished, I just click Done. And it goes back to the note I'm typing. So now you see the markdown link to the word iPhone and the link goes to my label on the website called iPhone. So this is a very fast and easy way uh, blogging and uh, typing and writing on the iPhone. I can do one more example for you. Apple will make a comeback this this year. And uh, now I want to link to a search, a search link on my website. So I mark the word Apple and type in another text expander shortcut called search in my text expander. So dot s e and text expander opens and here I can put in the word that I want to link to and it was Apple. And uh, in this field, I can type in what I want to search, the real search here. I can type something else than Apple here, really, but I will search for Apple. And when I type Apple, I also get the alt tag Apple automatically, as you can see. This is cool. And then I go back to drafts. And uh, as you can see, the word Apple is linked with my URL to a search on my website for the word Apple. This is really, really cool. And if I now want to see how this look on my website or in HTML, if you want, I click on this icon and choose Markdown Preview. And here you can see the final text, the final look of it, how I done. As you can see, I have linked the word iPhone and I have linked the word Apple this text. So this is how it will look on my blog when I'm done. But I will show you one more thing and that is adding an image that is uh, left aligned. So I go back to my text and uh, I go up here and here I want to have an image. So I have done a shortcut for left aligned images called left. So when I type that shortcut it goes here into Text Expander again with the 
um, URL to the image I had in the clipboard. So if you have copied a URL to an image before doing this, you get the image in this code automatically. But here I can type what the image is and uh, it's of an iPhone. So I call it iPhone and as you can see you get both the title and alt tag automatically. And now we go back to drafts again. And now we can see that I have an image at the top of this text. And now we can go into um, Markdown Preview again. And as you can see, the image is at the top with my text below, but uh, it's not left aligned. And that is because uh, the image is too large to be viewed in um, portrait mode on the iPhone. So that is because the screen on the iPhone is really too um, small, really. So uh, on my blog, this image should look um, left aligned and the text to the right of the image. That's a bit bad when you're looking at it. But as you can see, I can add an image very easy to the post and I can link to the post by typing some short commands, text expander short commands totally automatically. So I really love this service. All the apps on iOS need to support text expander. So you can only use apps that support text expander. And uh, there is hundreds of apps that su support text expander. So there is no problem at all. And text expander is not available for Android and will never be. And no apps in Google Play Store comes near text expander because text expander is very, very advanced. You can do a lot more advanced things than I've showed you now. So you can say that uh, text expander is more a macro language for uh, blogging and writing and so on. So it's very, very powerful. This is one feature that I miss on Android, as I said. Okay, bye.